has fishing grown over the last few years? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So first and foremost, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'd like to hear your comments and tell me what you think below. But before you do that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and part of the family because it really does help the channel grow. I am down south, not at my house. I'm down here in Palm Beach Gardens for Thanksgiving. And as I drove over the last couple of few hours down here, one of the things that I've thought continuously recently is how is the sport growing for fishing? Are we really technically growing the sport? Does tournament fishing help grow the sport? These questions are things I'm asking myself all the time. It's not that at the end of every video that I say, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I really mean that. When you look statistically at people that are out there fishing, we had a big bump in fishing licenses during COVID and then it just dropped back down. And when you look at the youth fishing, we're not seeing as many youth anglers out there. So I'm wondering and questioning is tournament fishing or does tournament fishing bring in new anglers or new youthful anglers? When Major League Fishing started, they had their cup series and their goal was to grow, grow the sport. I'm not really sure if tournament fishing does that anymore. I think that the cup series at Major League Fishing and Bass Pro Tour before the Bass Pro Tour happened did grow the sport and the reason why I think that is because the cup series were designed to be have drama into it have make it interesting anglers going out there and just catching a bunch of fish doesn't really attract anglers to want to fish that's just my opinion I wouldn't have said that five or six years ago but these days there's so much competition amongst the Bassmaster and then Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour and now, now MPFL there's just almost too much kind of tournament fishing out there so has tournament fishing helped or hurt grow the sport? That's the real question right now. I do believe that the future of sport a professional bass fishing is catch photo release. I don't know how they do it. I don't know if the MLL format is the correct format to do it, but that is the way to do it. As much as it's really exciting to watch fish come across the stage and it adds drama and everything else, I do think at some point we have to look at being a little bit more conservation oriented. And I'm not saying I dislike the five fish format and bringing five fish across the stage because I really do like that. I really love that. That drama is something else, but there's got to be something that can be done to help Help grow the sport and have conservation in mind because the catch photo release or catch release however way release is good for the fish because it's good for sport fishing and the mortality rate of those fish now i don't believe that a lot of the fish that are caught on the bass masters in the lease i don't believe that there's a big high mor mortality rate i think they're that the technology in the live wells is second to none these days so i don't think there's that many dead fish but i think when you start taking fish out of certain ponds and bringing them over and releasing them in another pond that does hurt those outer ponds and i'm just saying that from down here where we have chains of like that does things. I do believe that nowadays the content creators, the big content creators, actually help grow the sport more than tournament fishing. Now I know the tournament anglers and the, the bass organizations, they have the high school and the college series. I'm not really convinced that those series help grow the sport. What helps grow the sport is the guys that take people fishing. The guys that go out there and introduce their neighbor or somebody else to the outdoors. It's just quick and easy to go and do. I said it earlier. There's something to be said every time I say it. Take a kid fishing. I mean that. It's one thing to make a video and just say something, but a lot of people have to do it. You have to do it. You have to introduce the sport to other people. Don't, introdu don't introduce them to tournament fishing. Don't. When you bring money into the sport and you bring money into competitive fishing, it takes away. If somebody wants to be a professional fisherman, good for them. They need to know the ins and outs and the ups and downs of what professional fishing really is. And when it really comes down to it, having two or three organizations competing for the same dollars and the same viewership at the same time, that does not help grow the sport. They're in competition with each other. That is, that's the bottom line. They're in competition with each other. They want to beat the, each other. And their first instinct is how many views do they get? How much money do they bring in? All the little things. And then at the end, they worry about the youth angler or a new angler. And it's sad. It's a sad state of, of professional bass fishing that's gone on for years. And we have to do something as a community. Because what are they really giving back to the youth? Are they giving back ad revenue? Are they giving back money? Are they helping promote those people? Are they helping them teach them how to be, get sponsors so they can continue down the road of professional fishing? Or are they just taking their money to pay 
to play. There's a lot to be said in professional tournament fishing. It isn't the life great road that everyone seems to make it out to be. Yes, you can make a great living at it, but there's a lot more people that fail at it than go crazy and have the KVD Jacob Wheeler records that everyone tries and wants to have. So I have to read some stats, just so you know. So in fishing licenses in 2017 was 38.4 million, which was down in 2019 during those COVID years, we were up to 41.4 million licenses. And then in 2021, we were down to 39.32 million licenses. In, in 2021, 52.4 Americans ages six and up went fishing. That's a 4% decline from 2020. 2021, they saw a net loss of 2.4 million participants. There were 11.6 million new or returning anglers, while 14 million left the sport when it was all said and done. It's hard to judge how to grow the sport because of COVID. When COVID was happening, everyone was doing something to get outdoors, to do something. But we didn't keep those anglers. The reason why we didn't keep those anglers, everything went up in money. Everything went up in money. Lures started to get expensive. Rods and reels, everything affected the bottom line of regular anglers. I can't tell you how much I spend every year on lures these days because I need them or they're just overly priced. We've gotten to a point where lures used to be at that six or seven or eight dollars. Now we're all right with them being 15, and that's unacceptable that's not helping grow the sport either. So in my belief, I don't believe tournament fishing is actually helping grow the sport. It's helping grow the organization and helping them make more money. Are they growing the sport? I don't believe so. I don't see it anywhere anymore. And what, if, if we don't help grow the sport, then we're in trouble, really, we're in real trouble. So in my opinion, I don't think professional tournament fishing actually is helping grow the sport. Might be controversial, maybe people agree with me, maybe they don't, I don't know. But comment below and tell me what you think. I just don't see tournaments or organizations, those organizations going out and helping promote the sport. They're promoting themselves, they're promoting the business, they're promoting their sponsors, they're trying to make money. And that's where things get convoluted. Now it's not to say that, not, uh, that everybody is doing it, but they're out to make money. They're out to make money and they're out to beat each other. As crazy as it sounds, that's what they're out to do. So comment below and tell me what you think. Do you think tournament fishing is actually helping promote the sport or helping get youth anglers or new anglers into the sport? I'd love to know, comment below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Hope you like the backdrop. I'm gonna do a couple more vlogs while I'm down here, but this was one I've been thinking about a lot lately. This and becoming a professional tournament fisherman. That's the other one, I'm not sure. So again, thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Come on now, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon, cheers.